Hey there, today I am reviewing the Malia All-Inclusive Resort in Nassau, Bahamas. It is the only all-inclusive resort on the island that allows children. Because it was an affordable all-inclusive resort, we chose Malia for a girl's trip so that I could review the amenities of the resort, the food, the rooms, everything you need to know about this resort with my honest opinions. They did give me a discount because they knew I was making a YouTube video review of their resort, but these are my honest, gut honest opinions. Welcome, Welcome to the Bahamas! Bahamas! <laughs> Woo! The resort does have specials, especially in the winter time, so check out their website. The Kids Club at Malia Nassau Beach is going to have an activity at every 30 minutes during the day, and then nine o'clock would be the time you need to pick them up from nighttime activities. But they have lots of crafts. that You can see they have the sports balls in there. They do have a small grassy area in the back for the kids to play in that is fenced in, and then they have a really large grassy area beside the building. They also have a junior chef activity that's included and then they also have babysitting services just so you know but that's something you'll have to set up when you get there if you do bring your kids to the malia nassau beach just remember to grab the little pamphlets now you might notice the level status for this all-inclusive resort to malia that just means that you are going to get a quicker and more relaxing check-in environment which i do recommend because it took us in the middle of january 40 minutes to get checked in to the Malia. The level allows you to check in at three o'clock instead of four o'clock, and you get to check in at a quieter champagne reception area. In the regular check-in area, you do get like some Bahama Mama juice, but that reception area is very dark and warm, I would say. It just needs to be renovated so that you walk into that lobby and see, wow, the ocean, that's what I came for. The white beaches of Nassau, that's what I came to this location for. With the level status, you also get better liquor, you get better towels at the pool, and you get your own beach, like for the beach chairs, which would be great in the summer during their high busy time. Um, and then you also get to eat breakfast at a certain restaurant outside side in the mornings. We had regular vacation status, so this is my honest review of the all-inclusive resort Malia from a commoner standpoint. The dining at Malia was excellent. We ate at the main dining room Malia Marketplace, which is all the way downstairs in the resort every morning. Just so you know, they do close in between meal times. Um, for those of you with toddlers. <laughs> the Marketplace cheese dip queso is out of this world amazing. We saw them pouring heavy whipping cream into the bowl. It is homemade and excellent. And that is coming from me living in Texas where queso is king. I poured it over my rice at lunchtime. Oh my goodness. They have authentic sweet plantains. The Marketplace even had grits for us Southerners who visited the resort. My tip for breakfast is if it's crowded or cold outside and you don't wanna sit in the outside area or the outside grill that they have for you to eat breakfast in, know that just right across the hallway from that marketplace is the Aqua nighttime restaurant but it is also open for overflow in the morning breakfast. It's a little quieter. You do not have the ocean pretty views, but it's nice. If you're new here, welcome. I am a pilot wife here in Houston and I YouTube travel tip videos. If you need a packing tip video for visiting the beach in the middle of winter, I have that video there and I will link it below. I used to live near DC, so I understand the escape mode that you go through in the winter. By plane, Nassau is a three hour trip from Newark, New Jersey and a three hour trip from Houston. There are five restaurants to choose from nightly. Just know that they are not all open every single night. Well, they weren't in January. The food is excellent and it is possible to have authentic Italian food in the middle of the Nassau Bahamas. The Malia does a great job of getting the freshest, most authentic focaccia bread and the oil and vinegar to dip it in. Mm. The wine is excellent. I had Cabernet every meal and it was excellent. I even got my two girlfriends on the Cabernet instead of the Merlot. The house wine is free. If you want anything extra at those meal times, you do have to pay for it unless you're a level status. My inside tip for booking a restaurant reservation while you're at the Malia Resort is to download the app. Normally you would have to go downstairs to the concierge station or desk at 8 a.m. on your vacation to book your seat or your table at the restaurant, or you can call, but 
both of those are going to put you in a line waiting. There are two benefits of where the Malia Resort is located. It is 10 minutes from the airport. If you are ready to start your vacation, the Malia is super close. And it is also right next door within walking distance to the brand new Baja Mar, almost like a city size development. You can walk to the Baja Mar along the beach and then the sidewalks, or you can also get there from the streets. The street in front of the Malia is very safe. There's a little five stall straw market right there. Um, you feel like you're in a neighborhood street. I don't know, I felt very safe on that street. My tip is for those of you who want to enjoy a spa experience or a massage, you do have to use the Baja Mar spa. There is none in the Malia. So you'll have to walk there. Another tip I realized when visiting the all-inclusive Malia Resort is to bring $1 bills and maybe a few 20s if you're going to be venturing out for a little tour or if you want to get some authentic Nassau Bahama food like the conch salad. I got fish fingers at this Twin Brothers, I think, restaurant. It is fantastic. It's an air-conditioned restaurant and there's a row of restaurants on this dirt plot right on the beach. But highly recommend this one. It was freezing in the middle of January on our one day that we had full of sitting in the sun. It was 60 degrees and the wind was blowing like 20 miles per hour. So we decided to take a little tour into town on our own and we went to Queen Staircase and Fort Fincastle. But Fort Fincastle only charges $3 to get in it. And so that's why you need like small bills. And I have some travel hack videos that I'll link here and down below of where you can store your cash, like stash your cash in different safe areas. The taxis in Nassau are very safe. We had great experience with them and we traveled three women on our own into the middle of the town and beyond. But before I got there, I wanted to pay for a taxi service from the airport to the Malia All-Inclusive Resort. I didn't want to have to pull my money out and like go through and just see who is the safest looking driver. So we found one website, First Choice Limo Service. It was $50 for that 10 minute ride, but we could pay for it on our computer at home before arriving, before our flight even left. Now, if you want to go from Malia to another destination to have authentic food or to tour something, the taxis park inside the driveway of the Malia and the bellboy will walk you to whichever taxi he wants you to take. My tip for using a taxi is, when you get up to the taxi, don't ask them what the price is. Say, with boldness, we want to go to the Queen Staircase. Can you give us a ride for $20 or start a little lower? They range from $18 to $30. I recommend you stating what the price should be and let the negotiation go from there. They're so friendly and they are who you need to ask for where to eat on the island. There are three swimming pools at the Malia All-Inclusive Resort, two families and one adult with an, a swim-up bar. It's a very compact resort. One of the family swimming pool has a ramp interest. Thank you from all those parents of toddlers out there. The other family pool does is a regular swimming pool. It's got a volleyball net in it. I was very impressed and somewhat shocked that this resort had a wheelchair for sand use. Uh, the wheels are really big. It's great that they accommodate that for all needs and all of the entrances have ramps or an elevator close by. The swimming pool bathrooms are behind the adult pool. You can see in the map that I took a picture of that it's not really spread out, but that's where the bathrooms are. You don't want the bathrooms where the chairs are. <laughs> Many of the activities at the Malia are for water and they are free to you as a guest. Outside near the beach, there is a basketball court. There's a covered ping pong table area. Inside the Malia is a ping pong table, a large Connect Four and a large Jenga and a Starbucks coffee shop. It's on the way down to the Marketplace restaurant. You can see by these pictures that the gym at the Malia is very nice. It's in an L shape. There is fresh fruit infused water. I saw the gal cutting the oranges. And just in case you need kind of like grocery store items, there is a pretty big market right there in the hallway of the lobby of the Malia. And there's an ATM right in between the market and the gym. My tip for coffee is to bring your own creamers. They do have the regular sugars that we have here in America. And the coffee inside the resort rooms is excellent. 
but they did not have creamers. The rooms of the Malia Resort need to be updated. They are very clean, but they look like old hotel rooms. However, if I was going to Florida, I would not walk barefooted on a carpeted hotel room, but at the Malia, I felt totally safe and clean enough to walk barefooted on their carpeted bedroom to the, get to the bathroom. And I am OCD about smells of sheets and inside the pillow at a hotel, but these smelled brand new. They did not have a Clorox smell, like they'd been washed in Clorox for years. Even the pillow smelled fresh and not old, and the sheets are very soft. The bathrooms are very clean. They just need a renovation, but we are not staying at the all-inclusive resort to sit in our room all day, right? <laughs> I did appreciate this little contraption that they have on the bathroom counter that keeps the shampoo and all those liquids off the countertop so you have more room for all of your toiletries. If you haven't seen my travel hack for using an ironing board, I will put that travel hack video here and in the description box. If you appreciate free travel tip videos, hit subscribe for me. And if you have not introduced yourself, leave a comment below. Thanks again for visiting and have a great vacation no matter what time of year you're there.